Night Warfare. I am your host, Scott Mark 76. We have a great matchup lined up for you tonight. It was originally scheduled to be a battle of two men who went for the role of Ivan Drago and Rocky Forrest. Terry Von Erich was supposed to take on Nikita Koloff. Unfortunately, I accidentally deleted that match when transferring it from the PS4 to my PC. And this match has been changed as the one-man gang coming to the ring, led by his manager, the doctor of Sal Slick, will take on Earthquake. Big what-if matchup here for Fantasy Warfare Tuesday Night Warfare. Two big behemoths will go at it. I still think that is the best theme song. And there he is, the giant earthquake. Look at this guy. As the earthquake makes his way to the ring, I still think Josh Soul Bro, one of the greatest theme songs of all time. I put, I mean, I'm not a Hulk Hogan fan, but let's face it, Real American is, is, is up there with most recognizable songs. I would think that Josh Soul Bro should be right there. And this match should be very interesting as the Earthquake takes on the one man. Now, I would think that the Earthquake would have had Jimmy Hart in his corner to maybe offset the Doctor of Style as the one-man gang charges Earth Earthquake. Earthquake shuts down the one-man gang, and away we go. We have reinforced the ring for this one, fans. A kick to the midsection by the one-man gang. The one-man gang, of course, would go on to become Akeem, the African Dream. And they would, he would team with the big boss man to form the Twin Towers, which we will see at WrestleMania on April 5th as the Twin Towers take on the Skyscrapers. And of course, the Earthquake, who started in the World Wrestling Federation, I believe it was 1990, as Dino Bravo was in a feud with the Ultimate Warrior, and Earthquake has a one-man gang up Gorilla Press Slam pressing the one man gang. The AI in control here. And what a Gorilla Press Slam by the Earthquake. He made his debut attacking the Ultimate Warrior and formed a tag team with Dino Bravo. But of course, he would go on to become one half of the former World Wrestling Federation Tag Team Champions with Typhoon. As the natural disasters is slick. Throws a chair in the ring. The referee doesn't see it. Earthquake goes for the cover in the middle of the ring and slick up on the apron, trying to distract Earthquake. And Earthquake, too smart for that, is in control, has the one-man gang leaning up against the ropes. Oh, and a back body drop over the top rope. The one-man gang takes Earthquake over. Of course, the one-man gang, before he became Akeem, had some success in world-class championship wrestling. He also had success in UWF. The former Mid-South wrestler is both men fighting on the floor here. The referee has begun to count. And a backbreaker into a Russian leg sweep on the floor. The count is up to seven. These men need to watch out. They're going to be counted out. Eight. Battle nine. And both men trying to get back in. And they do. They beat the ten count. takes down the one-man gang. I'll tell you what, I thought we were going to have a double count on here. I may have had a hit rematch. The one-man gang, again, a former UWF World Heavyweight Champion, held that title 
for several months in the old Bill Watts promotion. Also a former U.S. heavyweight champion in WCW in 1995. The Nitro era. Earthquake doing the work of the series of right hands. One-man gang ran into Earthquake who takes down the one-man gang. This is a big fight. I mean, oh gosh, gang takes down Earthquake. I mean, these two big men going back and forth here. And now the one-man gang setting up Earthquake for a front suplex and down goes Earthquake. He is in trouble. Gang goes for the cover and not even a one count. Earthquake throws the one-man gang off of him. One Man Gang, of course, part of the first ever main event at Survivor Series has a splash on Earthquake. One, two, and a kick out of two by Earthquake. The One Man Gang took part in that main event at the first ever Survivor Series. And the shorter block takes down Earthquake. He was on the winning team, of course, Andre the Giant, the sole survivor. Man Gang still part of history by being in that main event. Into the corner goes Earthquake. Runs charges with a big splash in the corner by the One Man Gang. And Gang's not done. Throws Earthquake into the corner again. Runs and another splash and down goes Earthquake. That's one way to use your weight. Gang thinks it's all one, two, and a kick out of two again by Earthquake. Earthquake in danger of losing this matchup as the one-man gang has been in control most of the time including that time on the outside floor and now the gang working the neck and slamming the head of the Earthquake down to the mat. Earthquake Gets out of that headlock maneuver, and now Earthquake trying to make a comeback. And a belly-to-belly -belly suplex by the Earthquake takes down the one-man gang. And an elbow drop by the Earthquake. Slick up on the apron again. This is where I think Jimmy Hart could have come into play. And an elbow drop to the lower back this time. Earthquake rolls over the gang. Will that be all? He's on top. One. Two, and no, a kick out of two by the one-man gang. So both men with near pinfalls in this matchup. Who can last the longest? Both men not known for their cardiovascular. As Earthquake with a backbreaker, and down goes the one-man gang, and Earthquake says this is it. He's setting him up for the Earthquake splash. Off the ropes is the Earthquake, and down with the Earthquake splash, but slick. Distracts the referee! He had this match won, but Slick distracted the referee! I don't believe it! Earthquake staying on top of the gang. This match should be over. And that is why I'm shocked Jimmy Hart is not at, a, at, at ringside. And now the one-man gang trying to come back. Stomping away on Earthquake. This match should be over. Oh, and an elbow drop to the back of the head. I think that may have knocked out Earthquake. Earthquake in trouble up. And a front suplex by the one-man gang. Is that going to be it? I, th I think... Earthquake's knocked out from the elbow drop. One, two, and a kick out of two by the Earthquake. What does the one-man gang have to do to put away the Earthquake? Our earthquake had this match won. He nailed the Earthquake splash. Slick got up on the apron and distracted the referee and a big splash by the one-man gang. He's on top one, two, and three. And your winner, the one-man gang here on Tuesday Night Warfare.
Oh man, Earthquake got screwed. Let's call it what it was. This match was all over. He hit the Earthquake Splash. And then Slick distracted the referee. Here it is. Here's the Earthquake Splash. And the replay didn't show that Slick was... Well, there's the referee attending to Slick. But that gave the one-man gang new life. And he was able to put away the Earthquake with a big splash. And your winner, the one-man... Well, let's call it the one-man gang and Slick. Fans, we thank you for joining us here on Tuesday Night Warfare. Make sure you join us next week when we will see that match between the two would-be Ivan Dragos when Nikita Koloff takes on Kerry Von Erich. Until next time, we'll see you at the matches. Goodbye, everybody.